operators globally bring to the table around mobile payments is um, we've been issuing virtual cards, in fact, we are mobile numbers, to the SIM for decades. We've done it over the air, we've done it securely, we've never had an issue. And so what we're really doing uh, you know, with mobile proximity payments, we're just making extra space on here and saying, look, if you're a, uh, an issuing bank and you want to get this card, which looks exactly like that card, they both have chips on, we just make space on this and we use an admittedly updated version of what we send our phone numbers over and we send this particular number you know, over the air and store it on the SIM. So that's a huge um, uh, equalizer because now that SIM can go from one device to another device. Uh, it's consistent across all the carriers. We're all familiar with it. We all know that it's secure. Uh, and we already know how to distribute these things and manage uh, uh, credentials over the air to these devices. So it's not a radical shift for a mobile operator to support these sorts of things. Um, I guess the other thing we can do is we can use the fact that at least in this country and, and other uh, uh, countries, we subsidize the devices and therefore we can push our applications on the device. And so we'll put this thing called a SureTap wallet uh, on, on, on all our devices um, and that will make it easier for the consumer to uh, download the payment cards or loyalty cards or gift cards or whatever it is they want to into the device because they don't have to download anything, it's already there. So that is a differentiator that carriers bring to the table in the space versus uh, an over-the-top provider. The benefits to you? So the benefits to us are uh, twofold. One, our customers want this, it's very clear, and so we're always careful to make sure that we provide our customers with what they want. Um, and it's also a new revenue stream for us. If we were to provide a, a bank, a large institution with uh, a distribution and storage service for their card, we charge them a sort of a storage and services fee. Uh, it's about the same size as a postage stamp as far as size goes. And if we provide other value like a distribution of a gift card or a loyalty card or something like that, we're effectively a distributor of that service and, and, and usually there are models in the uh, economic model that pay distributors for their services. So those are the big things.